Greetings and peace be with you. Welcome to our Lockdown Lookup series of devotionals focusing on the fruit of the Spirit as found in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Here the Apostle Paul says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. This is part two of peace as the fruit of the Spirit. The last time we were together, Richard reminded us that peace is not the absence of hostility or tensions or conflict between the warring parties. Rather, peace as the fruit of the Spirit is the inner quietness despite our circumstances. So I invite you to further reflect with me as we focus our attention on this important and sought after virtue, which seem to elude so many of us today. A virtue that everybody pursues, but very few possess to the fullest. Biblically speaking, peace implies harmony, safety, friendliness, and relational tranquility. You see, as human beings, we are incapable of creating such environment and conditions. My simple working definition of peace is knowing that the Lord of the universe is by my side no matter what, and that I can rest in him and not strive. And once I know this, then I ready myself to face life and its challenges. This kind of peace is something that you and I can't attain or produce in our own steam or efforts. Only God through his spirit can establish such peace. So when the Apostle Paul says that the fruit of the Spirit is peace, it means we know that when we have the Spirit in us, we are filled and empowered so that we can walk by faith, not by sight, to live in victory, not in defeat. We are able to rest in peace because the Holy Spirit is with us and the peace of God is in us. That is why the psalmist decries, be still and know that I am God. Authentic peace comes not from the absence of trouble, as we've been saying, but from the presence of God and will be deep and surpassing all understanding and knowledge. A life of peace, friends, is inclusive, comprehensive, as well as emphasizing the wholeness and the harmony with God and others. A life of peace is safe and secure, both physically and mentally. I found the passage in Isaiah 26 verses 3 and 4 very instructive. Here the prophet talks about what it means to be at peace with himself, with God and others. Listen to these words. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever for the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal. And there are three words here that I would like to just highlight as I use this. The first word is steadfast. It's from the term that means to lean, to rest, or to support. It's the idea of being sustained as a result of leaning on something to support you. The second word is whose mind or of mind. This word comes from one verb that means to frame or to fashion or to form. In the original Hebrew language, this particular construction has an idea of a frame of mind, a frame of mind that is receiving support from leaning and therefore is being sustained. Now, the last word is, will keep. The term means to guard from danger, to watch over, to garrison one from enemy's attack. God's promise for us is this, friends. He will support us when we lean on him, he will watch over us and our minds and fashion us as we focus on him rather than our circumstances. His shalom will give us a sense of an unending security, uninterrupted perpetual rest and calmness. This kind does not come from anyone else but from the God upon whom we lean. Peace is a result of allowing the Holy Spirit to work in our hearts and our minds. When we have peace, we do not have to fear and worry about anything, whether it is our finances, our health, our family, our safety, our salvation, 
even our future. Peace is the product of God having reconciled our sinners to himself so that we are no longer his enemies, but sons and daughters at peace with him. The fruit of the Holy Spirit then become evident when we are at peace with God, beyond our circumstances and everything around us. The encouraging words of Jesus to his, to his disciples and his followers are worth repeating here. In John 14 and John 16, he writes, and I just want to quote some of the few words here. He says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. He further said, peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives, but do not let your hearts be troubled, do not be afraid. Let me conclude by saying again, peace as the fruit of the Spirit, it is the outworking of God in our lives so that we will be fruitful and effective in relating to Him and with others. Peace is knowing that our God is in control. I don't have to strive. Our responsibility then is to daily depend on God because there is no other way to be at peace than to obey His will. Peace be with you.